we create this kind of multi-sensory visual soundscape that seeks to heighten our sensuous receptivity to the more than human world and question the boundaries that we draw amongst ourselves. Our new project that we encapsulate this new emotions uh, that we're feeling, all the uncertainties in the world and also just what we're experiencing in our environments with the pandemic and with our own emotions and how do we make meanings towards what we can do as artists. Late Night Savage focuses on the three plants, the tumbleweed, sunflowers, and camel grass that grow at the nuclear city, nuclear sites at the United States and the former Soviet Union and China during the Cold War. The new video, Peaked, is the latest work of us. It portrays visceral and suspenseful doomsday journey in a first-person perspective through the lens of a drone that is navigating through the remnants of a forest wildfire. We zoomed in on lichens, the commonplace life organism, as a paradoxical metaphor for the multifaceted human nature relationship that has been evolving and in conflict in the past centuries and also leading up to the current global warming climate change. It feels like the tumbleweed that we, we were filming, it doesn't have a language, it doesn't have you know, its own cultural background, but it's really invasive species from Russia originally, but it's all over the United States and kind of have this alien living uh, amongst you know, the Americans. In our process of working, kind of like trying to break the boundaries of our own habits and discipline that we're familiar with and try like new mediums. For example, Yang has been trying painting for the first time and I've been trying singing in the video for the first time. And I think it really helps us to realize our own potential that we're not really aware of. At the same time, sometimes we feel stupid doing things that we're not familiar with. For me personally, I was very happy to first time to be in the video of a soundtrack that's made of 125 pianos. It's the soundtrack for Peaked. And this music that I composed, it's an emotional output of my feelings. I cannot put music into words, but I try to put my emotions into sound. In this painting, I use complementary colors and really radiant colors and diagonal compositions to capture this kind of tranquil but mystic moment that is in contract with the imminent danger. And I think both of the paintings are very much inspired by our journey in the forest while we're filming the, the video. A really strong experience and impression that I had is that it's disorienting. It's hard to tell the, the distance, the depth of field. The paintings are my attempt to kind of capture my experience and to portray, to capture this moment of imminent danger approaching. I could hear the moment I walked into this building, the music of Schubert. I could hear sounds and I saw this painting. I decided to paint Sudden Change the second time I visited Goethe Institute because of the, the shape of the walls and how everything is so classical, but at the same time very free-flowing. The painting itself makes me think of the music by Beethoven or the German romantic composers. They were experimenting with surprises and shock in fact to propel their music for new audiences during their time. This inspiration only happened here in this space, in this room, uh, Studio 170, and it's one of my first paintings. All paintings are customized to the specific frame on each wall that was designated to mm -hmm. the sound panels before that was left completely blank. Just to see how the painting will look like in a really powerful space instead of having it hang on just a blank wall. I hope the audience can come out of this exhibition to feel more, to, to notice more, not only within the exhibition space, but outside of this building, in the streets or in the city, and just be part of this very thankful place. I hope when the audience come, it'll be nice to just to feel more and vibrate with everything around us. What does it feel like to be something more than us, more than humans? I think in that way we could live in more harmony with anything around us. Yeah.